Welcome to Soto Creations, where we make your imagination and mine a reality. This is my first YouTube video, so please bear with me as I walk you through this beautiful backdrop for a one-year-old's birthday party. Now, what you can see, I prepped my balloons ahead of time. I did not add that part of the video because it would have made it too long but if you need to see how I prep to make everything easy just comment down below and I can do a video on how I prep all my balloons right now I'm attaching all the balloons I've prepped I'm starting with this beautiful pale yellow color kind of a light mustard color uh, we're attaching each one together and what I do here is I look for the long necks of the balloons that enable me to tie them easily and that's all part of the prep process which makes your life a lot easier when you're putting the balloons together. You'll see each time I'll dig in, find a long neck, a long neck from both sides, there's a long neck in that one, I, I'm able to stretch it, tie it together and there you go it's a little tight and there as the video goes on i won't show exactly how long it takes me to tie them but that's real time really as you can see it's easy when you're able to find those long necks at the beginning of me doing balloons it was so hard my fingers would just hurt but it gets easier once you get the trick of see how the, you can kind of see that long neck in the middle but that keeps everything together and I promise it doesn't fall apart. I decided to do the yellow color, then the white, and I am going to see my height because I want to decide when to add that beautiful rose gold color in the mix. And I don't want it to go too high because I need to know exactly where to place my rose gold i think i need another white so here we go we're gonna attach another white to this garland and now it's time to add more white balloons and here comes the rose gold as you can see i keep attaching and i prep to make sure that I can reach the height I need to go over that white backdrop now as you can see in the back I have two board backdrops where I one is on the left that is white and the one on the right is pink I made those myself I tell you there's so many components to this display that you see here there's the backdrop I became a carpenter for the first time to be able to build that myself and I guess that's a whole other tutorial if you want to learn how to make it it's not perfect but I think if I have to do it again then I can perfect my arch better but I wasn't too worried about it I had already painted it and I thought about cutting it and adjusting it but I figured the balloon is gonna hide it so it's not that big of a deal and you'll see at the end it doesn't really show here I'm still somewhat wrestling with the balloons to get them tied together to attach them make them longer this is one of my best friend's daughters birthday she's turning one I always think one is such a special birthday I decided to go in the back to hook up my my um, now I'm drawing a blank to attach my hooks that I can tie the balloons to when I need to so here I am looking for all the spots that I need to attach each hook and there you have all that needs to be attached. We we'll keep going. I made a floral arrangement. Again, another component of this. And 
had to figure out so many ways on how to get it attached to this backdrop without putting screws into the backdrop because I want to be able to use this backdrop again for other projects if I don't need to use to put a floral attachment on it I didn't want to glue the attachment I didn't because I just wanted to keep the backdrop to be used another time so as you can see I finally figured out a way to just tie it towards some pegs that I bought from Walmart and they hold pretty well it it was it ended up turning out really really well so I'm adjusting the backdrop to make sure everything is secure this backdrop when I made it I realized it wasn't standing on its own I had to put some weights in the back and that worked fine you know what no one really sees the weights anyways so as you can see I'm attaching another command hook right there and some pins as well the pins will help me attach my 260s which are what I'm going to use to then link my balloon garland to that backboard here I go tying the 260s you can see it hanging out of my pocket I need to come up with a way to have a little pouch that I can hang on my thing so I don't keep going back and forth into my large bin to get stuff I'll get organized someday but as you can see I tied my 260s and I'm getting ready to carry my balloon garland and get it situated here in just a few minutes another 260 going in the back the funny thing is I end up not using all those I watched it back and I used just one which worked out fine that tells you these garlands don't need much especially when they're indoors and there's no wind to toss it around so now I'm just positioning the garland to see where exactly I want the height and we'll be attaching it here shortly I step back every time you see throughout the video because it's hard to know what your design looks like when you're right in front of it so it's very important to step back each time to look from afar what it looks like so you can make adjustments otherwise you put certain things and it will be too late to move them that big balloon at the very top I just wanted it sideways and you can see the difference it makes when it comes up comes further out this arrangement has four colors and they're color blocked so I have my pink I'm working on attaching that together creating a bigger cluster and i'm trying to figure out where exactly i want my placement here so here we go with the pink
I was very excited to put this balloon garland together. I had never done this type of arrangement before, so making the board and researching on the wood and all this was so exciting for me. I could not wait to put it together and see the outcome and my friend was absolutely blown away. She loved every bit of it. Initially, she wanted something different, which we ended up doing the other idea she came up with, but I kind of surprised her with this one and I'm very happy that I did because it turned out absolutely gorgeous, especially in the pictures and I'm sure she was able to get great memories with uh, Eliora cutting her cake right there in front of the backdrop. With this pink balloon, I couldn't really find any necks to attach them with, so I ended up using some fishing line. That's another option when you're making balloon garlands instead of tying them together. Some people like using fishing line to just tie everything together. That's a good way for me. It's a little bit slower because I get tangled up in the line and it just makes me get frustrated at some point but when I tie the necks together it's faster and they stay you know so but this one just worked better with just putting some fishing line and you see I have this big gap in between that pink and the yellow at the bottom and I'll fix that eventually but I'm just making adjustments again to make sure that everything looks really presentable there we go we finally got that big balloon out to the side and it gives it some symmetry with the other pink rose gold balloon on the right which makes it look very nice Filling that hole with more pink balloons works out well. Gives it a solid base. Stepping back to take a look. And here we go adding two more of the yellow balloons to fill it even further At this point, the base of the garland is pretty much complete, the core of the garland, I would say. So what I'm doing is stepping back and just filling in where I need more volume. So I have some five inch balloons that I inflated. I tied some of them in threes and I'm going to use some fishing line. Normally, it's easier for me to use two sixties and I would just tie on each end and just twirl it around the balloons to attach it but I forgot them at home I only had a few that you saw in my pocket that were in my bin and I forgot the package at home so what I'm doing is using some fishing line and you'll see it's a lot harder with the fishing line than it is just using two sixties and wrapping them around but I'm just looking through to see where I can fill in the balloons I made sets of three balloons each for each color and I'm just gonna fit them in to give the balloon more of an, a bigger organic feel and also just uh, filling it in where I need to.
Have you ever attempted to make a balloon garland? I remember the first time I did, like I said, my fingers hurt so bad because I just tying the balloons after inflating them. I guess with practice, you get better, but tell me what your experience has been if you've ever tried making a balloon garland before. Did the balloons pop? Did you end up making what you thought you would make? Or how did it turn out? Let me know. I just realized that I needed to fill in the rose gold balloons better. The gap right above the garland, the big rose gold balloon on the right, there's a little space there. So I had to pull out the pump, which is one thing if you want to set up for someone's event, you bring your pump with you because you might have some balloons that pop that you need to refill. So I'm taking two. 12 inch balloons tying them together and i'm just gonna put it in that space to fill it in so it doesn't look so thin up there i'm just trying to see if i can find a neck and i did Thank you so much for taking time to watch this video. I really hope it helps you build your own balloon garland or have an idea of how they're put together. 
let me know if I can do better with um, explaining the balloon garland and if you want to see how I inflate all these balloons it took me about an hour and a half I believe it was because I had to make other things for the the birthday party as well but let me know if you want to see that video and I can edit what I have and post it as well so you get a full picture of how to set everything up but it definitely saves time when you're able to inflate everything ahead I put them in mattress bags that I bought from a U-Haul location and they all fit perfectly in I put in two separate bags the little ones in one bag and the big sets in another and they fit I had a van so it fit well in a van here I am just filling everything in What do you think? <laughs> now I have these beautiful butterflies that I made with my Cricut. I'm just showing you how I lift them up just to give it that 3D look to get it all attached to the garland to give it the last finishing touches. They just made everything look beautiful, beautiful. The garland is beautiful on its own but she had a butterfly theme birthday party so I thought let's just add this extra touch I wrestled a little with glue dots which they were always they're always hard for me to get on things but the more I did the better it got so here we go putting on all the butterflies they turned out great because the rose gold with that balloon beautiful like share subscribe Comment down below anything you have and I'll respond as the comments come in. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you guys.